Hi YouTube, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. Now a simple video I'm making today is how you can multiply your seed potatoes like obviously the caption will say. These are the ones I have trialed and they look good and I did this last year as well. Basically there's this salad blue potatoes I bought last year i really like them and i've seen a different variety of blue potatoes but i couldn't get hold of a lot of them actually able and cold sold out on the seeds so i'm actually growing the eaten ones what i did i tried it and i love the taste and so we're just cutting it up in half and letting it dry it's taken about two three weeks for it to dry this well and can you see when i chopped these up it had no eyes so it started sprouting and i'm just gonna leave it out like you would normally do, you know, and let my potatoes chit. Is it chitting? There you go. Anyway, so I'm doing this now. I think people don't bother doing this because seed potatoes are really, really cheap. You can just buy a kilo for £1.25. It's, it's cheap as chips. But because of the varieties I want, I want to multiply them. And I also want to save money. Who doesn't want to? Right. So let's get into it. These are... Right, that's a good view so simple simple as abc get your potato look for as many you know sprouts or shoots you've got on one side make sure you've got some on the other sometimes you wouldn't like the ones i've shown you earlier had none and you just give it a slice okay and the most important thing to do here now is to let it air on the opposite direction so you don't want the sprouts to be up you want this parts to dry just now look at this one, it has no, nothing, no eyes outside, but this is a potential that will potentially sprout and potentially there as well. So I'm just gonna slice it anyway, because this is what I want. These are desiree, by the way, and they're, they're actually cheap. No, I just couldn't get as much as I wanted from our allotment shop. So they'd run out. Yeah, that's it really. And in a few weeks time, I will have a look and see how maybe in a couple of weeks if it's dry whilst it's still chitting and then when it's time to plant it in april it will be fine and you have a healthy plant you have as, as much as you would from a whole potato there's no difference it doesn't need the energy from the tuber to actually give you a, a good yield so that's the good thing about irish potatoes so yeah if you live in a country where it's difficult to get hold of um, Irish potato seeds or you just want a specific variety this is something you could try and definitely it's worked for me last year I tried a few of the purple like I said the salad blue and it worked and I'm doing it again this year and yeah moving forward apparently in America a lot of the farmers do it but it just it's like it's a common knowledge so they don't bother sharing it like you know with, I'm doing right now but I think if you're not familiar with this practice it's what yeah getting a video on it that's why i've done it so just ensuring it's all in an airy place so you have you have um good air circulation and reduce the incidence of any form of mold all right that's the most important thing really circulation guys it's two weeks later and everything is looking good it has capped over nicely as we can see and as a result it's ready to be planted we've got decent chits all over some are still babies like these ones but then it will grow so yeah this is it none of them rotted just so you know this is the simplest way to multiply your potato seeds and grow more of a variety you fancy I hope this has helped you. Let me know in the comment section what you think if you've ever tried this. This is my second year trying this and it's worked beautifully. Like, share, comment and if you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button and yes, put on the notification bell so you know when next I put a new video out. Thank you once again and have a lovely day. Bye-bye. See you soon.